Hi, in this Unity tutorial, I'll be showing you how to make a simple audio visualizer. At the top of our audio visualizer script, we have two references. One is for the audio source that is being processed, and the other is an array of transforms. This array of transforms contains the objects that will be scaled based on our audio data. Next, we have our settings. From top to bottom, we have the frequency focus window, which is a custom enum that will determine whether or not we focus the visualization on the entire spectrum, half of it, a quarter, and so on. We have amplification, which is the amount we amplify the scale of the visuals. We have the base height, which is the base height of the visualization bars. We have the FFT window, which is a variable that determines how our audio data is smoothed. More on this can be found in the link in the description. And lastly, we have the use decibels, which is a boolean that will determine whether the audio values will be converted to decibels. In our state, we only keep the audio spectrum data for the current frame. The onAwake method initializes the spectrum data array, giving it 4096 members. Our visualization is updated each frame inside of the update method. First, audio source that gets spectrum data grabs the frequency spectrum of the current audio playing from the audio source and stores it in the spectrum data array. Zero is the channel, and FFT window defines the method of FFT smoothing. Next, we calculate the block size, in other words, how many frequency values from the array each visual bar will represent. The number of values is reduced further based on how much of the frequency range you want to focus on. The first half, the first quarter, the first eighth, and so on. Now we iterate over each bar, going from left to right, or in other words, from the lowest frequencies to the highest. For each bar, we average a chunk of frequency values, also known as a block, as we have way more audio samples than we have bars. We then clamp the amplitude in order to avoid zero values. This is required when converting to decibels. If use decibels is true, we convert the amplitude into a logarithmic decibel scale. This makes smaller values much more noticeable visually. Otherwise, we just scale linearly using amplification and base height. Finally, we apply the new scale to the bar, updating its height. Now that we know what our script looks like, let's go to the Unity Editor and set our scene up. To set the scene up, create a game object and attach the audio source and audio visualizer components to it. Next, create some bars that you're going to use for visualization. I have created 16 of them, given them some color and some basic size. Next thing I did is I referenced the audio source right over here in my audio visualizer script. And I have referenced all the bars, making sure that the first element in the array is the leftmost bar, and the last element in the array is the rightmost bar, and everything else fits in between in order. Next, I have set up the settings. I have changed the frequency focus window to be the first 16th. I have set the amplification to be 512, the base height is this, and the FFT window is set to triangle, and we are not using decibels. So let's see how this looks. And there we go, now it works. So let's try playing with the settings a bit. Let's change the frequency focus window. There we go, now we're looking at the entire audio spectrum. And as you can see, all of these values are changing constantly, each frame. And as you can see, the higher you go, you go up the spectrum, the lower the values are. That's why when you look at the entire spectrum, most of the frequencies and most of the weight is gonna be right over here. We can fix this by doing two things. We can either change the frequency focus window, focusing more on the lower ends and mid ends. And of course, we can also use decibels. But first we have to reduce the amplitude just a little bit. Thank you all for watching. I hope you learned something new today. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and have a nice day. Bye bye.